there is a way to hack your brain guys good morning i think i started running 6 years ago um when i was in a uh, toronto in, a, in in my room with my friends i started running like 1 km uh, sorry 1 minute continuously non stop because at that time i never ha- ran in my life but i always wanted to so it's it's like i i i constantly push myself to get to that 1 minute continuous run without stopping and that too in the room and then eventually like after few weeks after few day um i think of months i started to run for 5 minutes and then i started to run for like 10 minutes i it's it's year past i'm always increasing so this taught me a great lesson there is a way to hack your brain seriously this is something i haven't done something marvelous but for my own life uh, and you know for anyone any area of life if you constantly hack your brain you can get to where you want only thing is it's a consistency seriously so this morning i told myself when i entered the ground i'm running 10 kilometers that i never run so this is like after 6 years after 6 years of training like 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes and then i 2 uh, years ago i ran 5 kilometers marathon and then i i, I did 7 kilometers but i never hit 10 kilometers so today i said i i told my wife actually my wife is recording this video i told her you know what see today i'm not stopping until i hit 10 kilometers two more kilometers freaking this is the hardest part but you know what i'm going to hack my brain i'm going to do it no matter what no one can stop me you know what it's it's a constant um question mark in your brain you always come across no matter uh, if you're running or or chasing a business or chasing athlete success in a athletes or or you know uh, having a chasing to have a beautiful family life no matter what area in life but it's always you have to continuously hack your brain so i mean you know everyone will have a phase like a, a, if you're a slow phase or fast pace or or you know medium pace so i'm like a, i'm not a fast pace guy i i, I cannot run like 200 kilometers in 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 a uh, one day or two days but the thing is i know my pace i know i'm a medium pace guy and but if i stop growing every um you know in a, in a in a graph like if you take like year 1 year 2 year 3 if you're not growing in your stage in in your life in every area like health wealth and and family life you are dying you if you're not growing in this direction in months and years in a long run you're going in this direction so if you're going in this direction there is no happiness so for that like you have to constantly tick your brain just keep the next goal in your brain and always vision about it that's what i have done today morning like you know when i started like um 2 km 3 km because this this trial here it's a like a, a half kilometer trial so that means i have to run 20 trials so like i constantly told myself like you know what you can do this if you want to leave a legacy for your family if you want to leave an example for yourself or if you want to you know make yourself confident and live things confidently do things confidently then you have to constantly hit that that's what i have done man man it's nothing more powerful and and fulfilling than hitting your goals just 0.5 kilometers more to hit my 10 kilometers run i think i'm going to make it and you know when you when you're running when i'm running constantly you'll come across road blocks like from years uh, of course it took me uh, like 6 years to hit 10k but maybe there are people who run in like 6 uh, six days or or 6 weeks or you know 6 months but again i'm not um, competing with anyone that's what i tell myself all the time it's life is not a competition with others if you're looking at someone and just depressing yourself hey this guy is growing really fast and i'm not i i i told myself this is a, a great lesson i learned for myself like if you look at a person who is uh, doing the same things that you want to do but in a really fast pace uh, if he's your competitor don't look at has a competitor and don't stress out look at look him as a role model that's what i am doing right now in my business or running or anything i will look at the people who are achieving certain level i look at them as my role models okay 
what kind of things I can take from that person. For example, Sherhan, Ryan Sherhan, he's the, the best, uh, I think a world's second or first best real estate agent in the world. I look at him as not as a competitor. I don't, uh, he bang my head for looking at him, how he can do it, how, why I cannot do it. No, I look at him such a way that, okay, this guy is uh, hitting that level of goal. That means he has something awesome habits or some kind of things that he is doing differently than others. So what are those things? What, how can I take those things into my life? So same thing, running life or anything. Don't look at others as a competitor. Look at others as a role model. That's how I've been doing. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't stop here running 10 kilometers. I'm gonna run half, give him half marathon. I'm gonna run full marathon. Uh, of course, it's, it progress in a, in a timely manner because that's not my high priority, but that's my health. So guys, hack your brain every day and live the life to the fullest. Hope this makes sense to you. If you are hacking your brain constantly, let me know in the comments below how you feel about it. You know, how, what kind of things you come across. Man, this is really important for everyone to learn about hacking the brain. Let me know how you are hacking. Maybe I want to get you on my story to talk about your story, what you have done, how you hacked your brain. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching.